<laughs> oh, oh, all right. <laughs> uh, just sat here, uh, sat here eating my mini eggs. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm Colin. I'm James. And welcome to Let's Talk Retro. Happy Easter! And we're here today with our top five retro game Easter eggs. Yep, we're going to look at some hidden items and things that are hidden in some of our favourite retro games. So, let's get to it! Five. So we start off at number five with Adventure on the Atari 2600. This one may not be the most exciting easter egg out there, but it is thought to possibly be the very first. But then who knows, there may be earlier ones out there waiting to be discovered. Back in the old days, Atari didn't allow video game programmers to credit their names, and as a result many resorted to hiding their initials within a game, often in secret areas that required specific step-by-step -step processes to reach them. Such was the case with this game which creator Warren Robinette hid his name as the secret easter egg. As we are about to see any second now. There we go. Created by Warren Robinette. Four. At four is the legendary Doom 2. You've probably seen this, it's a very famous easter egg. You can only find this egg when you've got the cheat no clipping on. Once you start the uh, level, run forwards, run through the walls and you can see the uh, impaled head of John Romero, one of the lead programmers of Doom 2, uh, stuck on a pike. And every time you shoot him you can see him squeal. This is an easter egg I've uh, found myself many times. Three. At three we have Wave Race Blue Storm on the uh, Nintendo GameCube. To do this you have to go to audio settings, tap the Z button or the Z button until you get like a little mist thing come up on the wave bar down the bottom. And then you need to do up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, followed by A, X and Z. And that unlocks um, an alternative boring. voice track where the race announcer is replaced by a troll guy that uh, sarcastically ridicules your every move. So let's have a listen and see what this guy sounds like. To Dolphin Park. This is if you were any good, you could get a turbo by hitting the gas when the light goes green. Three, two, one, go! Is that the best you can do? Weak. No mercy. Adequate. Not a lot of good at turbo would do you. Pathetic. That's the red boys on the right. Forget it. Poor. I don't like that guy. Let's move on to number two. two. Number two is Aladdin on the Mega Drive. Now if you find this washing line you'll notice there's some Disney ears. If you line Aladdin's head up with the ears you get awarded an extra life. Just like that. Number one. And at one we have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This isn't very retro. Ah, but it is. Just watch. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. This is uh, the map Nuketown 2025. And I'm going to go through just shooting all the heads on the mannequins. And you've got to do this in under 1 minute 30 seconds. I'm just speeding it up a bit now because it's going to take a while otherwise. But once you've shot all the heads of the mannequins, this is the coolest easter egg if you ask me ever in any game. You go outside and you go to this screen 
Wow, that wasn't there before. No, it's now the Activision uh, screen, like an Atari 2600. I recognise that game. Yeah, it's Pitfall. You can play Pitfall. One of my favourite games ever, Pitfall. I love Pitfall. Hey, this is something else. Yeah, now you can also play Hero. It's another of my favourites, another classic Atari 2600 game. What's this game called? This one's uh, Kaboom. Another Atari 2600 classic. And I uh, used to enjoy playing that. Maybe not as much as the others, but still a good game. Love how the uh, hands are animated. Yeah, um, Another game. Yeah, finally there's four all together. And this one's um, River Raid, which is a classic back in the day as well. So that was a look at our top five Easter eggs. Thanks very much for watching. Um, what do you think? Is there any uh, Easter eggs that we've left out that are your favourites? Uh, if you are, leave them in the comments down below. Yeah, we can take a look at those and maybe do another video. Um, which we can include your suggestions in. So until next time, happy Easter. And keep it retro. See you soon. So guys, don't forget to like, comment and most of all subscribe, that would really help us out. Um, this video that's shown now is episode 6, you've just watched episode 7 of Let's Talk Retro, so if you haven't seen episode 6, just click on that and you'll uh, be magically whizzed off to watch the previous episode, where we take a look at our three favourite, or three of our favourite game intros. Thanks again, catch you soon. Keep it retro. We used to make meat munchies. <laughs> Until the meaties were through.
Right, so that's it. We're done now, are we, for this yeah, episode? Another video done. Another episode in there. That's good. Uh, I've got one thing, actually. I've got you. I've got you an Easter egg, because it's Easter. Oh. There you oh, go. Oh, you shouldn't have, but... I hope think... you like it. Yeah, it's great. Well, right, thanks. <laughs> thanks, I feel really bad that I didn't get you anything. Oh. Um, Don't worry. Enjoy it. Or maybe uh, you'll share it with me. Oh, all right, if I have to. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, I'll show you. Oh, thanks. Anyway, happy Easter again, everyone. Happy Easter.